Hi everybody, it's Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art and I'm here to do a VR for Shonda Slim Cards and she has a challenge or going on right now for her Christmas tree that she's going to put into her craft room and I really wanted to do this for Shonda. She's a sweet lady and she makes a lot of things for a lot of people so I did want to try and get into her challenge and make her a little something. So I have made her two, I might make three, and I hope to make a card. So hang in there, Shonda, because even though I did manage to get the two ornaments, it'll be a little bit longer before I send them because I would like to make you a card as well. All right, the first one looks like this. And it is a paper project. Um, so I don't know if I need to back out just a little bit. That's in, so let's try the other way. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> it's actually, if, if um, you've seen this before, it's actually paper that I punched out with, I think, my inch punch, circle punch, and then you make a little triangle that you can use to just quickly fold them all, and then you glue all of the folds together. So this was a project that really brought me back to the day because uh, I think I did this in the fourth grade. That's why I'm saying a lot of you may know this project already this paper project so it just forms a nice little circle and I have no idea what I was doing here Shonda but I put little red pom-poms and some um, fibers some sparkly red fibers she said she would like to have the ornaments in traditional colors and a little one to close up to cap actually he looks kind of cute doesn't he <laughs> to cap off the bottom and then I put some red bling in the center of the green papers and these are my Heartfelt Creations uh, Christmas papers and now I won't remember the name of them but I do have them at my Zibit shop um, and they're really cute because they have um, holly on them and I thought oh that's perfect I'll use the green holly papers and the red sparkles and bling and there's a little green ribbon on the top so there is my first one I hope you like it it's a messy one. I've been trying to shake off a little bit of the uh, glitter so it's not too much of a pain for you, Shonda. All right, and then this one, I had to get my lace in. Had to go a little bit shabby. So I took a styrofoam ball. Uh, I actually put some green fabric underneath and then some <clears throat> lace fabric over that and came back and put an applique here. And then it's got bling, green blings all over the place and uh, this lovely little flower in the middle and then I had uh, what I thought were the perfect color wild orchid craft roses and then I sparkled them up with gold and I have put the lace around the edge so that it sticks out if you can see that I actually snipped it here and there hopefully that's not the main focal point and people won't think oh she had a snippet to get it on and uh, just tied a little puff up here with um, some gold ribbon but it is a two-sided ornament so on the other side there you go there's a shabby look in whites and greens and golds and so I just put this little cameo there's a few nice little fibers just made a, a little flower out of the little lace and again I added wild orchid craft roses in this ever so slightly mint green and so that's that's my projects and uh, I, I may do another one I'll, I'll show you I've been playing around I hate to throw anything out not because I'm a hoarder but as I get older the waste makes me crazy so I had these um, balls that have well they've been through something <laughs> and they've been sitting in a dish and I've been thinking what am I gonna do with them so all I have done so far I'm just waiting to see how acrylic paint is taking to these because they're essentially you know they're the glass balls um, so I'm painting it up and uh, I'm gonna maybe send you a third one I'll have to be very careful to bubble wrap after I see how this goes um, and uh, if it comes out okay and it's not flaking all over the place um, maybe I'll send you a finished product with a, a third Shonda because she asked for two so this is for slim cards and I hope she likes my ornaments and I hope they get there in time because like I said I'm gonna hold on to them just a little bit longer I did want to get the VR up so that 
everybody could hear about her her um, challenge because she's doing it for quite a while so you have time to get in she wants to decorate a Christmas tree in her craft room and she'd like it to be done with all her friends goodies that they made her so two ornaments is really all you need I hope you all enjoyed my projects thank you very much for taking the time to um, watch and until next time everybody this is Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art God bless.